Well, after yesterday's fantastic performance, of course, uh, everybody is uh, now chilled out and calmed down a little bit after the 2-0 win over Forest. But, of course, the question still was asked about Martin Dubravka and his future at the club after Eddie Howe uh, started Nick Pope. Now, I did say earlier on in the summer that, uh, you know, Nick Pope's signing meant for me he was going to be number one. You don't sign an England goalkeeper and leave him on the bench. Uh, Martin Dubravka, we know, has been a fantastic servant to the club. Um, but... Uh, maybe it's time now that he was moved on. And certainly Eddie Howe has hinted at that this morning uh, in an interview. Um, he did state that, um, you know, it was a very, very difficult decision. But uh, Nick Pope, who started in goal yesterday against Nottingham Forest, he said it was very, very difficult. Um, I feel I've got three quality goalkeepers uh, to pick from in Carl, Nick and Martin. And Martin last season was excellent, uh, which he was. But he said, certainly my decision to pick Nick wasn't the reflection on Martin Dubravka or his abilities as a goalkeeper uh, or my thoughts on him. Uh, it is more a reflection on Nick and how good I think he is. Um, on potential sales, he added, it's too early to say. I don't know yet. Um, I don't want anyone to leave, but I'm well aware that uh, it's a difficult uh, number to carry with four goalkeepers. Uh, my wish would be to do that, but obviously I've got to think of the players as well. Uh, we hopefully make the right decision. So, basically from that, uh, it looks like Martin Dubravka's time at Newcastle United is probably limited now. Um, you know, he certainly won't want to sit on the bench. We know that. He's a quality goalkeeper. And at this stage in his career, he doesn't really want to be on the bench. He wants to be on that pitch playing football. And from what Eddie Howe has said about Nick Pope, he obviously thinks that Nick Pope is a quality quality goalkeeper which we know he is you know he's in the England squad he's he's a very very good keeper um over the years at Burnley and now he's at Newcastle United where he is firmly number one in my opinion um now if Dubravka stayed that would probably mean that Dubravka would play in the Cubs but is he happy just playing in the Cup games and, and not playing any part in the Premier League probably not uh now a, a move to another English club for me, seems a bit doubtful. I think Martin Dubravka will probably go overseas if he is to move. Um, there's plenty of time left in the transfer window, that's for certain. So, for me, uh, it's all about picking the right club for Martin. And, of course, as Eddie Howe said there in his interview, that, you know, it's very important for the players themselves. It's not just about Eddie and his decision to keep everybody. He's got four goalkeepers there, um, which he knows that it's impossible to rotate four goalkeepers around. Nick Pope is firmly the number one for the Premier League, and that would be the uh, fact moving forward. Uh, Dubravka, um, despite his abilities, despite him being number one last season, or despite if you think it's fair or not, Eddie Howe has to make decisions that he believes in. And of course, he firmly, firmly believes in Nick Pope, and he said it there in his interview. Um, Dubravka's played really well for us. He's been a fantastic servant. I'll always remember his first game against Manchester United. He was absolutely superb. And he's carried that form on. Yes, he's been prone to the odd mistake, uh, but he's certainly served the club very well. And I think that's what Eddie Howe means in his uh, interview, saying about, you know, he has to think of the players as well and their welfare and how they're thinking about things. And, and Martin Dubravka, he won't hold any grudge against Newcastle United. He's, he's played a good part over the last few years. Uh, and he's a very, he's still a very, very good goalkeeper. And we'll go on to, to good things, I'm sure. Um, but I don't think, by the sound of what Eddie Howe is saying, that it's going to be with Newcastle United. Now, as for Carl Darlow, that means that he will probably play a bit part of the season. Certainly, uh, you know, the early rounds in the Cup, you can see him being a part of that. Um, but Nick Pope, definitely the mainstay number one this season. Um, but let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. You know, is Dubravka, you know, are you disappointed that uh, Dubravka could be heading out the door? Or do you think it's a logical move? You know, because we knew that Nick Pope and Dubravka, two very, very absolute top quality goalkeepers, you know, one of them is not going to be happy sitting on the bench. Uh, and Martin Dubravka at his stage in the career, I think it's perfectly um, sound to say that Nick Pope is Eddie Howe's number one. You know, from, from what Eddie's just said there in his interview, he is definitely number one. So Dubravka does have to think about his future and where that lies. And it, it looks like it is probably not going to be Newcastle United, which is a little bit sad, I know, because I know a lot of fans hold Martin Dubravka very highly. Um, and everybody does, in fact. I don't think there's one Newcastle fan that would ever sort of, uh, you know, not be disappointed to, to lose Dubravka. But, you know, he has to think logically. He has to be playing. And Nick Pope is clearly Eddie Howe's number one, certainly in the Premier League. And I don't think Dubravka is going to want to stick around just to play the odd cup game here and there. 
Um, but best of luck to Martin Dubravka if he does move. Obviously, that will probably pick up pace within the next couple of weeks uh, with the end of the transfer window in sight now. Um, just over, f what, three, four weeks left of it now. So things will pick up pace if Martin Dubravka is to leave. But I don't think there'll be a, a shortage of clubs wanting him. Um, I, I highly doubt he'll stay in England, um, but there isn't going to be a shortage of clubs wanting him, certainly during this transfer window, which will be fantastic for Martin, and he can certainly move on to bigger and better things. Uh, but that's the news this morning, guys, about uh, Eddie Howe and what he said about Dubravka. Uh, it looks like a decision is going to be made very imminently to move him on, and Nick Pope, clearly Eddie Howe's number one. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. Is he right? Is he wrong? Uh, would you prefer Dubravka? Let me know. Um, but if you have enjoyed the video, guys, as usual, do hit that like button. And uh, also, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. So close to 13,000 subscribers now, which is incredible. Uh, and do hit the notification bell, which will let me, uh, you go, which, I'll get my words out in a minute, which will let you know when we go live or we record a video. Um, but that's it for now. We'll be back tonight with the uh, match review itself with me, Stato, Danielle, and Billy. But in the meantime, have a lovely day, guys. Take care. Oh! <laughs>